welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to talk about a very fun event, the Langley Kennel Club Dog Show. It is coming up, and we have with us the show chair and Abby. Nice to meet you. Wait, I should give you a name. Abby, I know, is the most important <laughs> person here. She is. Here today yes, for this interview. So. But right. Jennifer Batone, you are also very important because oh, well, you brought you. Abby. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's the only reason I brought her is because, you know, she can uh, add uh, comic relief. That's right. That's right. No, she's adorable. And what breed is she? She's a Tibetan Spaniel. And this is, uh, she's 10 months old, so she's a baby. So she's just starting out her show career. So I'm hoping she uh, does well. She should. She's a very nice, nice dog. And you breed Tibetan Spaniels. Uh, my mother and I breed, breed Tibetan Spaniels. We've been breeding this, um, this breed of dog for close to 37 years. Um, wow. Yes, yes. Why this breed? Tell us about the breed. What are what are they like? Um, very, very friendly. They they sit on your lap. They'll basically do anything you want them to do. Um, they're um, very, very cuddly, and they're very cat-like. So you have to be careful with them because they will get up on your um, furniture. They'll get up on your kitchen table. They'll get up on. No, you're kidding. They don't look your, like they could. They could you do, jump that far. They get. They find a way. They get on chairs <laughs> and they, they they work themselves up. My mother had one on her kitchen counter the other day. And so you have to be very careful with them. They're um, bore, bred as alert dogs. Okay. So they're not guard dogs, they're alert dogs. So they will bark when people come to the door and come into the driveway. But then after you say hi to them and, and you know, they'll, they're fine. You walk away and they're fine. Um, but they're not guard dogs. So yeah, they, no, they once someone sees that dog, they wouldn't be as afraid. No, as they would. no, no. So but you, I guess you hope it wakes you up and then you exactly, take over. Exactly, exactly. Um, but we've had terriers before. I started with a Norfolk Terrier. And when, oh. when my mother and I, when we were looking for a different breed of dog, we were looking for something with a little bit easier coat care than a terrier. A terrier requires a lot of, a lot of different coat yeah. care than we were, than we were uh, capable of doing right now. So we looked for a dog that was a very had a very easy coat, and that these guys That doesn't look do. easy. That looks like you would have to brush her out a lot. No, they're actually very, very easy. They're very so clean. Um, the only thing that we do for the f to show them is we shave the hair off the bottom of their feet okay. and keep their feet clean. But That's no, they they bad. keep themselves very clean. Like a cat, you like said. Like a cat. They're very cat. Like they, they clean their faces. They'll take their paws and they'll Aww. they'll clean their faces. So. And so, yeah, there was, and some other things we were looking for. We were looking for certain characteristics in a dog. We like a dog that keeps its tail up over its back. We like a dog that has its ears flopped over and, you know, mm -hmm. so. And size, of course, was always a There's, factor. It's so manageable. That's it. I love it's big so dogs, manageable. too, yeah. but there are a lot, yeah. a lot more to take care there, of. Yes, yes, so a lot more. at the show, though, we yes. will see all, all breeds, yes. right? Yes, at the dog show, Memorial Day weekend at the dog show, um, we're in, um, we're, Langley Kennel Club has also got Virginia Beach Kennel Club with us. So our dog show is Friday and Saturday, Sunday and Monday of Memorial Day weekend. Oh, wow. And each day we'll have between 800 and 1,000 dogs, and it will be every single breed. Every, every breed that you can imagine will be at the dog show. And each day is a different dog show. So you may see the same dogs themselves, but the same dogs may not win because you'll have different judges. So you'll have, you know, so even if you go to, even if you go to the show on Friday and watch the groups, if you go back on Saturday, you may see different dogs in, in the groups. Now, how, how is that? And, and who, you know, how, what is the judging based on and how can it be that different? The judging is, each breed has its own breed standard. So each breed is judged to its breed standard. Um, and um, the judges know the standards. They, they, they take classes, they take tests, and they, they have to do... Um, preliminary judging and they have to um, do other things before they can be an official judge with AKC. So they learn the breed standard and so each dog is judged to its own breed standard. Um, and, and sometimes it's subjective, you know, sometimes the one judge right, will see right. something they like better than one of the other judges. And like so, diving so, or dance competitions, sure, exactly. there's some interpretation. Exactly, exactly. So you have personality different, mm, oh, and yes, things come yes. into play. So you'll have different dogs winning best of breed. Um, so the, you go, if you go early in the day, you'll be able to see the, um, the breed judging. So there's going to be, I think we're going to have um, eight rings set up this year. Oh and gosh. in each ring, there'll be breed judging. Um, we don't know the times yet for each breed. That doesn't come out until a week before the show in a, in a program. Um, but you'll see the breed judging. And then once all the judges choose their best of breed dogs, and then starting at about 2 o'clock, you do the group judging. And it's broken down into seven different groups, depending on what the dog, um, what the dog was bred to do. Um, this breed is in the non-sporting group. 
but there's herding, sporting, hound, terrier, toy, um, working. Um, so, and then starting about two o'clock, we'll start the groups. And the groups is what you normally see, like when you watch the dog shows on TV. See, yes, that's right. what I was going to say. People right. love, I mean, it draws huge ratings, mm -hmm. the, big, the big dog shows, especially Westminster. Oh, yes. But a lot of people don't have the opportunity right. to go in person. And right. here it is, right here, you yes. meet the convention center, right? It's at right? the Hampton Roads Convention Center, yes, which is a wonderful, wonderful venue for a dog show. They've been so nice to us. They, they, they've provided so many things for us. Um, we've got free parking, so there is no parking to come in. We're offering free RV parking because a lot of the people who show dogs travel oh, in right. motorhomes and trailers. Right. Um, so it's free parking. Um, and it's, of course, indoors, so we don't have to worry about weather, you mm -hmm. know. So, um, and the, the admission price is $5, but we do give discounts for um, senior citizens and for military. Military and their families get in for free, actually. And when you come in early in the day, like I said, you can see all the breed judging. So you get to see all the classes and you get to see all the dogs, many more than what you would ever see at Westminster. You can watch the dogs being groomed. There's a grooming area, and you can watch the dogs being groomed. Um, the handlers do most of the grooming at home, but then a lot of the touch-up and the finishing yeah, stuff up, is, right, is done mm -hmm. there at the show. And we also have um, close to 20 vendors. So there's, there's dog-related and non-dog-related vendors going to be at the show. So come in. You can shop and buy a gift for your favorite dog person or for oh, yourself. Oh, how fun. Yeah. So if I was interested in a, in a particular breed, uh, you know, Jack Russell's mm -hmm. miniature schnauzer is what mm -hmm. I have now, or mm -hmm. your cute little Tibetan Spaniel. Can I go online and find out what time that's going to be? Finding or? it online is a little bit more difficult than when okay. you get to the show. Um, there is a way to find it online, but um, you have to go through a, 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 a um, website called InfoDog. And InfoDog keeps all the judging programs online. But if you come to the show early okay. in the morning, we have it all printed up. So everybody who comes in can get a judging program. And in that judging program, it has each time, and the breeds that the breeds will be listed, and somebody from the kennel club will be able to help you find the breed that you're looking for and what time they're at, they're looking for. Oh, um, I've never been, and it sounds like so much fun. It's it's a, it really is a lot of fun. It's a fun thing to do with your family. I mean, if you if it's you, very kid friendly. Very kids, kid friendly. You know, especially yes. if if you don't have pets and your kid's crying out for a pet, right. they can go experience it. <laughs> exactly. They can experience the pet without bringing one home. Mm -hmm. um, and, and learn about care. I mean, kids definitely. need to understand that pets aren't, you know, just there for your enjoyment. Right. You have to take care of them as right. well. Right. Definitely. Definitely. And um, most of the people there are so willing to talk to you about their breed of dog. They Because like you, they're exactly, very excited they're about very, it. Right. They're very excited. They're very proud of their dogs. So they, yes. they definitely will, will tell you about, your, about their dog. The only thing that we ask is that you do ask permission before you pet any dog. A lot of times the dogs are ready to go into the show ring. They're getting their, and, right, their mojo they're on. Getting their, <laughs> that's right. They're getting their mojo on. And a lot of times the people don't want to, um, don't want you, you know, touching or petting the dog at the time. You know, it's fun because it's, it's a little bit like a pageant. I mean, mm -hmm. these dogs have to... It, it's not just what you do. They have to. They have to bring it. They right? have to. That exa exactly. <laughs> and there is a lot of training that's involved. And people, you don't really think about. It. You say, oh, okay, the dog just runs around the ring and you know stands. Or, but there is actually a lot of training. You have to get your dog's attention. You want your dog to place their feet in exactly the the right position. You know, we don't want to jump on the judge. We don't want to you know sit down and roll around on our backs in the middle of the ring. Mm -hmm. um, although we do sometimes because we think it's fun. <laughs> so, but we there don't is jump a lot on of, the judge much. Do yeah, we? not yes, much. You might, no. Just a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, she says she's a baby, so I she's know. still yeah, <laughs> she's still jumping up and down. But we're working on it. No, so there is a lot of there's a lot of training that goes into this. Um, the, we also this year at our dog show on Saturday and Sunday we're going to have obedience and rally. So you'll be able to see the obedience and rally dogs um, competing. And again, it's just on Saturdays and Sundays. And so we have two whole rings set up just for obedience and rally. How fun! Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a different. We haven't had obedience and rally in the past for a couple of years because we we it's it's so much to to do to take on that we've got another group coming in that's doing it for us. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you showing Abby yet? Or I not will be at, showing at Abby. Show? Yes, I will be showing. Um, I'm going to be showing Abby on Sunday and Monday. I'm the show chair for Langley Kennel Club, so um, I cannot show my own dog on the days that our show is is having their show. I can't show on Friday and Saturday. So I am showing Abby. Abby will be in the puppy. She'll be in the puppy nine to twelve month class. Aww. So she'll be there um, all groomed up and hopefully behaving herself. So now there are dogs from this area, from Hampton and from our surrounding mm -hmm. cities, that have gone on to, um, you know, the bigger shows, oh, yes. the more prestigious yes. shows. Is it yeah. like points accumulation? I mean, how do you do that? Um, to um, 
to finish a championship, to finish an AKC championship, you have to win a total of 15 points. And your point schedule is based on how many dogs are being shown. Um, you can win a total at any one show, you can win a maximum of five points, which is considered a major. Um, and it depends, again, on how many dogs are being shown is how many points you win. You can win anywhere from one to five points at each show. Um, it depends on how popular your breed is. Mm -hmm, if you're if mm -hmm. you're showing golden retrievers, where it's a very popular breed, you may take it may take 20 golden retrievers to win three four points. With this breed, um, since there are very few being shown, it takes about five to six to get to get a major, Enough. which would be a three points. Yeah. So once you finish your your 15 points. Then AKC will award you a champion, mm -hmm. so you become a champion on record of, of uh, you know, confirmation champion. Um, AKC has added a couple other things. You can get a, a grand champion now, so you can get you can get additional points put on there. Okay. Um, the obedience is a little bit different. It's still it's still a point system with the obedience, and since I don't do obedience, I don't know that much about it. But it's still but it's still we're a kind point of one system. of the preliminaries, right. right? Yeah. This is one of the exactly. the shows that people would go to if they're looking to compete in New York. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. Oh gosh, yes. And a lot of the dogs that we see at our show either did compete in the big dog shows in, in New York and Westminster, or they're going to compete in Westminster. I mean, there has been a couple so that have come that down. So isn't that cool? It's like, yeah. you know, you're the minor leagues, mm -hmm. and when people sit back at home and watch the New York or the Westminster shows, mm -hmm. they can go, oh, I saw that dog. Exactly, exactly. I that dog yeah, oh, with best friends. Definitely, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're, you're <laughs> when, like this, when yeah. Abby's famous, yeah, I will exactly. remember that. Exactly, that's, that's right. right. When we end up on Westminster, best in show, you'll say, I petted that I petted dog. That dog. Yes. <laughs> and she'll say, whatever. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay, well, is there anything you want to mention before we close? Um, it's, it's a really fun event to come out to. Again, it's a family-friendly event. Um, bring, you know, your, your, your kids, bring your grandparents, bring your parents. Uh, free parking. Again, it's only $5 admission. Military is, for, is free. Um, we only ask that you leave your family pet at home. It's right, only right. for dogs that have entered They've been previously. trained and they, you know, they won't necessarily get distracted, but if they have that constant, yes. it would just be a mess. Yeah. Ex yes, yeah. exactly. You know, and, and, and again. Take what uh, you learn back home. Don't it, take the it, dog. Don't, right, right, don't. But, but come and shop at the vendors. Again, we're going to have some, um, you know, lots of vendors there, pet products, and some are going to be not pet products. So um, there'll be something for everybody there. That sounds wonderful. Yes. Okay. Well, I look forward to it. Oh, I can't definitely, wait. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you over Memorial Day watching Abby win in her class or watching all the other mini dogs compete. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.